Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our website and sign up for our blog. We have ex uh, some exciting products coming out in the near future, and we'll be sending out some discount to coupons to those who register for our website. Uh, and make sure you visit, sign up for our blog so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques for your Excel Dashboard template. So the other day I was looking at my iPhone and I noticed uh, the battery and I said, wow, I really like the way that battery graphic looks. Wonder if that's something I could do in Excel. And so uh, I'm going to show you how to create that today. And then I wondered if we kind of turn that on its side, it sort of looks like a thermometer chart or a company goal reached chart, uh, however you want to describe it. And so I'm going to show you how to do that type of chart as well today. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we go about doing that. So first off, the uh, battery itself has a uh, left cap. Um, it has a right cap. And then we have how much is remaining of the battery and how much is spent. Uh, for the goal reached chart, same sort of thing. Um, we have uh, how much has your goal have you reached, how much is remaining with some different caps on the uh, top and bottom. So what I want to do is look, let's say we've got 65% of goal reached. Uh, well, that means we have um, out of 100, uh, if we go 100 minus the goal reached, hit enter, we have 35 remaining. And then for my caps, I just wanted to make those about 5% of the overall total in between. Uh, same thing for our battery. Let's say I have 65% of my battery remaining. Uh, that means I have started out with 100. I have what's remaining. Uh, subtract that. Um, I have what has been spent so far. All right, so let's go ahead and make this uh, cool little chart. So for your goal chart, you want to highlight that range. Go up to your insert ribbon. And since this is up and down, it's going to be a column chart. And then right here, we have a cylinder chart. And we want to choose the stack cylinder 3D chart. So let's click on that. I'm going to bring that one over. And I'm going to shrink it up so you can see it a little bit more. Now, the uh, chart itself isn't quite stacked the way we want it. So I want to come up to my design ribbon. And I want to hit switch row and column. Look at that. It's getting pretty close already. Uh, let's do the same thing for the battery chart. I'm going to go up to my insert ribbon. I'm going to do a bar chart since they're horizontal based. And we have a horizontal stacked cylinder chart 3D. And I'm going to click on that one. Let me bring that one over here as well so that you can see that. Shrink that down a little bit. There we go. Now, once again, it's kind of in that wrong format. I want to click in there, go to my design ribbon, switch row and column. It's now stacked the way I like it. So we're getting pretty close. Now we need to set up the colors and the backgrounds and all of that. Uh, first off, I typically am going to uh, click on everything and just delete it all. So I deleted the vertical uh, label, uh, the vertical grid lines, just everything. Um, even the uh, base unit and also my uh, legend. So that'll make it get a little larger there. And uh, same thing, I want to delete all of this chart junk, if you will, and just clicking on like the grid lines, the vertical axis, the horizontal category labels, and there we go. So <clears throat> getting pretty close. What we want to do now is we want to uh, make the chart so that it is um, got the color scheme that we need. And first off, I want to make the two end caps the same color. So I'm going to click on one of those, click on right click, do format data series. Now, um, we want to do the fill color, and so I want to change these to solid fill, and I'm going to change it to, oh, let's do this uh, uh, white back background one, darker by 50%. I'm going to click on that, and I also want to have the same border color for that. So let's go on solid line, and I'm going to click on that same gray color, so I make sure the borders fit around the series. We want to do that to the other end cap. Click on it, click the fill, solid fill. The color's already chosen for me. Same thing with border color. Once I do solid line, that gray color's already in there. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for our battery chart. Let me move this over. If I click on the chart, I'm going to click on one of the caps, right click on it, format data series. I'm going to fill it with a solid fill. It's got that gray color in there. I'm going to do a border color with a solid line. I want to do the same thing on the other cap, fill, 
a solid fill, border color, solid line. And now we're getting pretty close. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. So this is the remaining um, goal that we have to reach. I'm going to right click on it and do format data series. Now I'm going to want this to be the same color as my background. In our example, uh, we are going to fill that with a black background all around here. So, but first I want to make sure that the border still shows up and is, is highlighted there. So I'm going to click on border color, do solid line, and it's got the gray in there. And I'm going to do the reached column uh, as well with the border color of a solid line, uh, just so we make sure that those are highlighted. Okay, so let's go to either one of these two. We're going to do the fill shape now. Since this is going to match the background color, <clears throat> we want to do a solid fill, and we want to choose this black color. And what goal we've reached is the green color that we had before, so we're going to click on solid fill. And we're going to change that to this green. And we're getting pretty close now. We just only other thing we need to do is click on. Um, see, I've clicked on the plot area there. I actually want to click just on a little bit farther out the format chart area. We want to do a solid fill and change that to black. Getting pretty close, looking like what we want. The only other thing we need to do is I do want to make this not exactly a full black. I want to make it a little bit more transparent. So if we go to the fill color, maybe make it about a 50, 64 percent. Transparency kind of gives it a real cool effect. You can see the green in there, but you can see we've got this little bit of uh, uh, slice part in there that's showing up in there. And I don't want that to show up. So what I want to do, let me close this down. I'm going to right click on the chart, and you see there's 3D rotation. I want to click on 3D rotation. I want to change my X value to zero, and I want to change my Y value to something like oh I don't know like two or three percent. Just to give it a little bit of a flare. Let's maybe do five. So the zero is going to get rid of that one slice part that you can kind of see in there when we create the transparency. So as you can see, we're done with that one. Let's just do the same thing for this other chart. We're going to do format data series. We're going to fill it in. Uh, this one right here is supposed to be the green. This one we want to fill in with uh, black. <coughs> We want to do the entire chart area. See, it's got chart area up there now, a solid fill of black as well. This piece right here, we want to change the transparency to somewhere in the 60% range. Uh, see that slice part in there because we've got it tilted as a little bit funky. Also, I don't think they did any border colors in here. We want to change the border colors on all of these to have that gray color, just to so see how it highlights that a lot better. Uh, the only other thing I want to do is I want to right click on this chart, do a 3D rotation, and I remember I want to change that X to 0, oh, sorry, <clears throat> to 0, and Y to uh, 2% or so, and uh, there we go. Looks very similar to an iPhone or iPad battery. You can also use that as a really cool uh, company goal reach chart that will make it pop. So. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure you visit excel-boardtemplates.com so you can get the latest charting techniques uh, to make your company charts, PowerPoint charts, everything pop. Have a great day.